It's said that there are currently more than 10 million people incarcerated worldwide. Now, some of these individuals might be in jail for minor offenses, whereas others could be cold blooded killers. Today, we are looking at some of the scariest and most evil prisoners in history. Starting off this countdown, we have Donald Harvey, aka the Angel of Death. Donald Harvey is a nurse turned serial killer. So he was working in a hospital as a nurse and was secretly killing off his patients. To him, he was doing them a favor. He thought that his chronically ill patients needed a relief from the pain. So he would smother them with pillows or would poison them or let their oxygen tanks run out. It's believed that he took the lives of over 70 people. However, in 1987, he was only convicted for 37 counts of murder. He was sentenced to life plus 20 years. In March of 2017, Harvey was beat up badly by a fellow inmate. He passed away shortly after. In our ninth spot, we have Albert DeSalvo. Albert DeSalvo, better known as the Boston Strangler, took the lives of 13 women between 1962 and 1964. He would strangle these women with a piece of their clothing before taking advantage of them. In January of 1967, he was sentenced to life imprisonment. A month later, him and two other inmates actually managed to escape from prison, and a full scale manhunt ensued. Thankfully, it wasn't long until he was recaptured. However, in 1973, Albert was stabbed to death by another prisoner. In our 8th spot, we have Ronnie McPeters. Now, Ronnie McPeters has actually been deemed too insane to execute. So Ronnie was first arrested after taking the life of a 27 year old woman. The woman, Linda Marie Baltazar, was running errands when Ronnie came up to her window while panhandling. She shooed him away and he left. But he ended up coming back and shooting her. He was first placed in jail for his crime and then placed in the rubber room. But that didn't stop him because he was known to set fires in the jail and harass other inmates. So they moved him to San Quentin prison where he was awaiting death row. And that's when he started acting even crazier. Apparently he would attack other prisoners and guards. And was known to smear his feces all over his cell and even himself. This behavior got him off of death row. They literally thought that he was far too troubled to be executed. In our seventh spot, we have Mark Chopper Reed. Mark Reed is an Australian criminal who lived a life of crime. He was known to rip off drug dealers as well as he would kidnap and torture members of the criminal underworld. It's believed that he was responsible for the death of 19 people and the attempted murder of 11 others. In fact, the movie Chopper is based off of his life and it's a wild movie. The things he would do were insane. For example, he had a fellow inmate cut both of his ears off so that he could leave H Division and be transferred to a different wing. He also once played Russian roulette with himself. Who does that for fun? In our sixth spot today, we have Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer is one of the most famous serial killers in the world. People all around the world know of him and the sadistic and disturbing crimes that he committed. From 1978 to 1991, Jeffrey murdered and dismembered 17 male individuals. What he did afterwards was even more disturbing. He would keep some of the body parts as souvenirs, even take photographs of the deceased. When police searched his home, they found it littered with human remains. Dahmer was finally arrested on July 22nd of 1991. However, while in prison, there were multiple attempts on his life. On November 28th, 1994, an inmate, Christopher Scarver, finally succeeded at taking Dahmer's life. His reasoning behind this? Well, apparently Dahmer was known to taunt others in prison. He would do this by making his prison food look like severed limbs to taunt the other people. He would even drizzle ketchup on top of his blood. Christopher and others found this very unnerving, so he decided to take action against him and beat him to death. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Jason Barnum, aka better known as Eyeball Man. And that's because he literally has a tattoo on his eyeball, like he tattooed it completely black. If that doesn't speak volumes about who he is, then I don't know what does. He also has one side of his face tattooed to look like a skull. So not only does this dude look like a scary prisoner, but he is one. This dude has a long list of crimes under his belt, including possession of heroin, first degree attempted murder, first degree burglary, and third degree felony and possession of a weapon. In fact, he was sentenced to 22 years in jail after shooting a police officer. Moving on to number four, we have Nico Jenkins. This guy is one of the scariest inmates in the world. Some say he's the craziest inmate in the world, and you're about to find out why. 
One time, he killed a man just because he stared at him the wrong way. Not only that, but in court, Jenkins was known to speak in some weird language. He said he used this language to communicate with an Egyptian serpent god. And this god was the one giving him orders to kill people. He also enjoyed talking about the people he killed and smiled the whole time while doing so. In the end, he was convicted for killing four individuals. Moving on to number three, we have Damien Folks. In 2002, Damien Folks was sentenced to 12 years for a series of armed robberies that he had committed. But while in jail, he committed even more crimes. In 2010, he attempted to kill another prison inmate. He made a DIY shank by melting a razor blade onto plastic cutlery, and he used it to slice a guy's throat. As a result, he was transferred to a higher security prison. But that did not stop him. A year later, he killed an inmate by strangling him to death with strips of his bedding. These attacks gained him the title of being an extremely dangerous prisoner. In our second spot today, we have Alexander Pikushkin. Alexander is a Russian serial killer who wanted to complete the number of squares on a chessboard by killing 64 people. It's said that he has killed around at least 49 individuals and possibly as many as 60. In fact, he was inspired by another serial killer, Andre Chikatilo, who I have talked about before. In his mind, he wanted to compete with him and kill even more individuals than Andre did. Now, what I find the weirdest is when Alexander was young, he was said to be such a kind and sociable child. That was until one day when he got struck in the head by a swing. From then on, his whole demeanor completely changed and he got really aggressive. So they think that this accident turned him into a serial killer. And in our number one spot today, we have Pedro Rodriguez Filho, AKA the Brazilian maniac. This guy is a Brazilian serial killer who claims to have taken the lives of 100 individuals. He started killing at a young age, one of the first kills being his father. He apparently killed his father with a machete, cut out his heart, and then chewed on it. He also has been known to kill and torture a number of gang members. He did this all before he was 18. He was arrested on May 24th of 1973, during which he was placed in a car with another criminal who he killed for no reason. And while in prison, he went on to kill more people. It's said that he took the lives of 47 inmates in jail alone. Pedro served 42 years in prison before his release in 2018. Yes, he killed that many people and then he got released. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these prisoners you found the scariest. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 prohibited locations people actually visited. Sarky Cupcake commented, Hey Lindsay, had to take the day off work, feeling pretty bummed out. Oh no. So glad I have some new and old videos to watch, loving this video. Well, at least you enjoyed the video. I'm so sorry that you had to take your day off work. I hope that you're feeling better and I'm glad that our videos cheer you up, even if they are somewhat depressing and scary. JK the Dovakin commented, Your new hair color is beautiful, Lindsay. Thanks. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would know that my hairdresser accidentally dyed it black. <laughs> so parts of it are black. Uh, I keep it tucked behind, but it will fade. I'm okay with it. So thank you for liking it. And Caillou Chan commented, I have finally found a second greatest on YouTube. Who's number one then? Better be me and my personal channel. I better be number one if MA is just the second and who's the third anyway all right guys that's all the comments i'm shouting out for today's video make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out and as always don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to most amazing top 10 for more amazing videos i've been your host lindsay ivan and i'll show you when i show you bye